hey guys how are you all doing and welcome back to my channel this is gh kings um from my previous video i think i told you guys i was going to be talking about my hair care regimen but i changed my mind because um next month is gonna be my three years natural hair anniversary so i think i will rather wait till february and then talk about my um talk about what i've been doing to my hair so instead i decided to do the crochet twist with the samba hair that i use this so for the crochet for the crochet twist that i'm going to be doing i'll be using two different colors i'll be using the samba twist um color 30 color 30 and then i will also be using the color one at the moment, I don't. Well, I haven't done crochet twist with the samba hair, the samba twist. So I don't know how many packs of hair I'm going to be using, but I'm thinking about maybe three or three and a half, because the hair is, is, is to me it seems very light, but then it's full. So I don't think I need a lot of hair on my head. Okay, so I know from my previous video too, um, there was a question about how I got my hair to be stretched. For that video, because I was doing a, because I was doing an abdo, I decided to stretch my hair by doing braids. I did I did um, about 15 braids on my hair the night before. The night before I recorded the video in order to get a maximum stretch. But for this hairstyle, because I'm doing crochet, um, I actually I'm going to do. I actually did um regular twist on my head i just finished on twisting my hair and as you can see i'm using my fingers to fit, um i guess to comb through the hair before i even think of applying uh, um applying comb to the hair so that's what i'm doing right now hey guys so i'm done on twisting the hair and i'm going to start my cornrows and um usually when um when I decide to do a long term what usually when I decide to do a long term protective style I deep condition my hair with avocado eggs and mayonnaise or avocado eggs mayonnaise and honey or mayonnaise eggs and honey that's what I do to my hair and it makes my hair really soft and I like doing that and I, when, I like doing that because I won't be able to do that to my hair until the next probably four to six weeks so I think I should go I should just do something special for my hair I guess I guess and I've been doing this I've been doing that since I went natural so it has become like part of my hair care regimen so yeah and as you can see i didn't comb my hair i'm going to do that after i apply my african sh um shea butter mix on my hair i'm going to comb it that's all i do because sometimes i feel like it's not necessary to comb the hair so then i won't comb it so this is how my braiding pattern is nothing special it's nothing special although this time i'm trying to do something a little bit different from what i usually do when i'm going to when i'm crocheting my hair and when i get that i will let you, i will let you guys know so you guys can see it and since the summer twist is you know the hair is big i'm not going to be rolling my hair like tiny i'm going to be doing like big cornrows right now i don't know how many cornrows i'm going to do that I don't know how many I'm going to do yet and I usually I usually um, do the side the deep the side parts because I barely wear my hair in the um, in the middle part so yeah so you guys keep watching and thank everybody that subscribe to my channel and everybody that um watch my previous video i really appreciate it thank you guys so much
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So for this one, I realized I don't need to comb it because since I um, comb it with my fingers, <laughs> I guess since I comb it with my fingers, like there is no need to comb this section of my hair. There is no need to comb this section of my hair. So I'm just, I'm just going to comb with the hair. I'm just going to comb with the hair. And this is how I comb roll. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm left handed. Or I don't know. But this is how I comb roll my hair. So you guys just keep watching. Let's keep watching. I'm going to show you guys how I do. I comb roll this hair. And what I'm going to do to the ends. And then I'll finish. Um, then I'm going to finish. What you call it? Con rolling the entire my entire hair and then I will be back to show you the con roll hair, okay? So I will show you guys everything that I do. So dancing glory. Okay. Okay, so this it's where I'm going to stop. Usually, I would just come roll all the way to the ends and then I'll just stuck the hair. But this time, so this time, instead of come rolling my, my hair all the way down there, I'm going to take one piece of the hair I'm going to use and I'm going to unravel that hair piece. I'm going to, yep, yep. I'm going to be doing this. The hair is so long, man. Well, maybe because I'm short too. <laughs> yeah, right. I am really short, so I'm not surprised. I am not surprised the hair reaches. Wow, it is long. It's long. So, guys, as you can see, I have one more combo left, so I'm going to show you guys how I do this last one. And your cornrows don't need to be perfect, honestly. Like, I just. Um, for the front part of my hair, I just I use the comb to section my hair, but towards the back, I just use my hand to section it because I honestly don't care how the back looks like. Since, um, I mean, who is going to you know, I forget it. Who's going to <laughs> who is going to be looking through your hair? It's Christian braids, like nobody cares. It's all about the hair, not your cornrows. Trust me. So, if if you know how to cornrow, but you can cornrow neat, it doesn't matter. You can do crochet. You can crochet your own hair because your cornrows don't need to be perfect. They don't need to be perfect, to be honest with you. They really don't need to be perfect. As long as um, your patterns, like, is clear and it's not going to look, you know, like a mess, that's all you need. Like, the cornrow itself, forget it. Forget that cornrow because... You don't need to be perfect so I'm going to show you guys once again how I'm going to add add the hair to my hair so I'm just going to unravel it and this hair is very soft like I know my previous my previous video I said like my hair is softer than this hair I mean it is actually it's true but like this hair is like really really soft and you can reuse this hair like you see you can untwist it and then curl it and then use it for your hair. You can and curl it and just cut it into two because one strand is very, very long. So I really, really like this hair. I think I'm going to reuse it, yeah, probably to do something curly or even though I have a bunch of it, of the hair, but whatever. So this is how I do it. Then I'm just going to twist like you don't have to be really tight because the um the twist itself is like extremely loose so just keep on twisting so guys i am done and this is how my cornrow looks like and as i told you guys i only do um i don't like middle parts i don't know why it's, it's never been my favorite so this is where my where is it this is where my part is going to be 
So this is the one cornrow and this is the other cornrow and I just joined it together to make this cornrow that goes to the back. But then for the rest of the cornrow I just cornrow the whole thing to the back. So I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to show you guys how the back looks like. Okay. Don't pay attention to the shape of my hair. It is ugly. I know. So this is how the back of the cornrow looks like. See? I braided everything. I mean cornrowed everything to the back. And the lines are not perfect. And as I said, I use my hands for the back. And these are how it's going to look like. And it's going to look like this. See, I even like this even more, you know, so I can leave these little hairs alone, so they don't, you know, whatever. So that's how it looks like. So now, I'm going to start crocheting the hair to my head. I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to try to do up to here, and then I'll show you guys how I do the rest. I'm glowing. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. Hey, guys. So the goal is to use three packs of hair. I, I don't know if I might use more than that, but so far, this is where I have gotten. This is what I have so far for one pack. I have only one strand left for one pack. Okay, so with this strand, I'm trying to show you guys. Hold on. So with this strand I have, I'm trying to show you guys something I usually do when some of my cornrows ends up like this cornrow right here because not all the cornrows are going to look perfect so when you have a cornrow that have like you have like you know it looks ruggedy like this like you have a lot of space right here it's like you want to take out that cornrow and just redo it now i have a solution for you guys do not take out that cornrow okay all you need to do is like crochet right here so you see this right here just put a crochet needle through and just yeah, put through like that and just try to crochet that space you have. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to redo that cornrow. Just crochet through that space. And that's it. Voila, you have it. Even if it's like around the space that you have your part, you can still crochet there. And it's, it, it even looks more natural, you know, than putting it on the cornrow itself. So just leave it like that. And you have it. And you can just put another crochet right here. And you have two. You don't need to redo that cornrow. Alright. Hey guys, so I'm back. And as you can see, I'm almost done with crocheting my hair. I love it. I like I love where I um I put the bright color. When I started crocheting the hair, I didn't really I, I didn't really know where to put it. I was thinking about putting it like at the back and then putting the black one in front, but I was like Nah, let me just put it where, wherever I feel like. So this is how it turned out. I'm almost done. I just have to crochet um, my part. And I have like nine pieces of hair left out of the three packs. I, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. You know, I'm not sure because I don't want the cornrows to show. But as you can see, the hair is pretty, pretty long. And as I said, like I'm short, so yeah but the hair is very very long it doesn't feel heavy on my head which i am glad it feels very light and it feels so full although you know this is like almost three packs i have like nine pieces left and this is how hold on this is how this side looks like i'm not done yet so oh i'm glowing yo whenever <laughs> I I braid my hair or like crochet or something whenever I start my hair. I glow so much and I love it. I love to glow. Alright, so hold on. I'm going to show you guys how to crochet the rest. Alright. Hopefully it's clear. So I'm gonna take my needle and just put it through and then grab a piece of the crochet hair. Open it and put it through the loop. Close the loop. Pull it, take it out. And open the crochet. Put it through and just pull it. And that's it. Voila. So I'm just going to be doing black brown, black brown for the parts, for my parts. So 
yeah i think i might need to open a new pack and just because because it might not be enough to be frank for the uh for my parts i'm just going to be i'm just going to use only i'm just going to use only two of these colors and then the rest will be black so i will show you i'll show you guys when i'm done because i think i'm gonna need few pieces from another pack yeah so guys i am so excited as you can see i'm done with the crochet i used three packs and four strands <laughs> from another pack i love it i love how i incorporated the colors i love how it's not like in one side you know you can see the colors throughout my beautiful hair and as i said the hair is long but it's yeah the hair is long but it's not heavy and i love it like it's a perfect to me it's a perfect hairstyle to have during the winter and this is my part and as i told you guys i don't like when my part is like right in the middle i like it when it's like a little bit to the side so like i can dance right now like i love this hair you know i love the hair so much i love it i love it i love it so for my next video i'm going to show you guys how i style this hair i will also be showing you guys um how i clean my scalp while i have in um protective styles so please stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel it's free and also um thanks for everybody that's watching the video i love you and god even loves you more thank you so much as you can see i'm feeling myself i really really love this and as as usual i'm going to post pictures wow i look really good it looks really really good see to get close and cut the hair it came out perfect and let me show you yeah before i forget let me show you guys so if i was to pull the hair back it would look something like this you know i love it and um see i didn't really crochet the hair like so close to each other because as i said the twist is huge so you don't need to crochet them close to each other you see space space them out because if you don't space them out you're gonna need a lot you're gonna need a lot of packs and also it's gonna be extremely full and you're gonna be extremely hot i mean yeah so that's so yeah i use three packs and few strands i can dance right now i love this hair it came out it came out so good i love it i love it i love it mm. So yeah, I'm gonna post some pictures and please subscribe. I love you guys, as I said. Bye.